from the command center of the JW Solar USA. Guys, this is what I'm doing right now, or this is what I'm working on. And guys, I want to show you these are 12 AGM batteries made by Sprinter. So these are the Sprinters, uh, the S12 volt 500F. You can look them up here and see these are the specifications. And these are Silate Acid, SLA. And guys, these are for, for you guys that want to see the temperature and the voltage by each cell. And um, you do the math right here. This kind of little expensive batteries. So this one came from a server or a battery hookup slash surveillance uh, servers or standby or anything you're thinking about here. And this is where they came from. They were just sitting there, trickle charge, generator start right away or the power goes down by the time the generator they about to utilize power and the generator already kicked in within um, uh, 0.1 millisecond. So the generator will fire back and keep up right away. Make sure that all communications or all computers and they are working or they are intact. So uh, my friend and I, Grimmeister Dave, I saw the deal and I talked to Dave about this and which Dave end up buying each of these batteries can believe it's ridiculous they cheap 25 bucks a piece so Dave got this one so I'm working on this battery bank right now you see my big crimper hydraulic crimper I already set up the wires right here so what I've done I'm putting the lugs the battery terminals you can see I already put them on so what I'm doing here, I'm creating a 12 volts configuration a parallel on these batteries. So six by that's a lot of power. So look at this battery. Look on the spec sheets on it, and um, the Sprinter. The Sprinter. There you go. S12 volt 500F. You will see the specification. I think it's a 200 and something. 100 or something, 200 or something. Uh, I'll put it in the description below, the amp hours. I think, yeah, check it out. These batteries are really heavy. Uh, I think they're good batteries. And we're going to use them for the sake of this system here, which is the grid height inverter. And remember, we did a video on this Dave system. It's right here. The batteries are sitting right here. And the system is just doing fantastic. And now it's, it's great. Um, Gritine um, is backing up the the power back to the the house. You can see, and this is what we generated today. Um, it's just uh, it's coming to noon right now. So 2.4 kilowatt. The batteries are absorbed. It's gonna come all the way to 30 amps coming in. So it's inverting right now. You can see the breakers here. They're already up. It's inverting the power. Remember. Follow these videos back on my playlist and see me and Great Meister Day what we did here. And uh, everything is just working fantastically. So he's sending back the power. The grid tile inverters are in utilizing it. And remember, we incorporated uh, two panels that we have up there so that they can help charging these batteries. Yeah, I think it's a 615 watt hours. Oh, watts solar panels and the kit is here designated here and doing his job is helping everything is full it's bringing a lot of power for just about those i've seen they come up to about 500 at one point they're on the wet side and while the big array which is right here is on the southern exposure is always bragging about so now look we're bringing 25 amps here and if we come back here and see this pushing power here. So guys, I think what I did here is working. Um, 
So this one is already generated about 800 watt. This is just an auxiliary that is here to help. You see the amps coming in. 12 amps plus 12 plus another 26 here. So you do the math. So what I'm gonna do here, this guy here, the two panels, it's getting warm. It's gonna be charging this bank right here. So we're gonna disconnect it from that bank over there. I have the tools, some of these things we're gonna do. This plug is gonna be here for his charging if you want to charge on the winter time. And uh, so he can get his battery top off. So for you guys who haven't seen the system before, this is what I created here, the monster. These are um, a Nissan Leaf. There's a lot of power here. And you go back and check the videos, you know how many kilowatts is here. So you can count how many batteries there. So you see what I created here is a monster. So grid tight um, is backing up with a grid tight inverter and limiter. So it's not sending the power back to the grid. So we have this guy here and covered up the terminals so, so nothing can get into it. Getting back to this bad boy here, I created the monster. He's coming in here and uh, tied into this 63, um, whatever, 30 amp breaker here. And he's feeding, it's going to the Magnum, he's help, uh, sorry, he's helping this uh, um, Midnight Classic. That's a 250 right there. And we took the wires here, you can see, running all the way to the top and getting all the way, I think it's number six, to the grid tight inverters. I'll take you right there. So what we have here is the grid tight inverters. The power came all the way up here and tied the controls are all up there. We can turn the switches or the breakers to disconnect the power from the batteries. It's taking the power from the, uh, from the, uh, um, the Nissan Leaf battery, and it comes right away here, and these are the limiters. The limiters came all the way here and come to the main panel to do the uh, termination. There's a breakers back here, the AC breakers, and there's a um, uh, uh, GFCI breakers that can trip. So double protection, double here, and send the power back here. These ones can trip as well. And here is the power we generating right now. So you can see what one leg is pulling because nobody's home. David, Dave has already went to work. And one leg is pulling 300 and almost 400. And look at nothing. It takes only, let's go back here. Seven watts is taken from the grid. That's it, seven watts. And let's check this one. It's only taking four watts from the grid. So this leg is active right now. Whatever is running here, I don't know what is running, but this is what it is. So the grid side inverters are doing, has been doing an awesome job for uh, David here. And this is what it is. And the system is just running awesome and fantastically. And uh, it's outstanding. So the work I created here with David and divorced the horse. So everything is working really sweet. So what we're gonna do, we take out the stress from those um, um, Nissan Leaf. As you can see, the wires coming out all the way here. Sorry for moving too fast, but I'm just gonna show you. Came all the way here and right here and came to the breakers right there. This one's here. These two breakers for the grid ties. So you can see the kind of power that is coming in. Positive. Okay, it says a cloud there outside. So it's putting power. Bears are absorbing, they were already afloat. So I initialized them, put them back to work. So no more power is going to be coming out from these batteries here. This battery is going to be designated only to power the house. And this is the box we trying to create to get a 30 amp from the uh, Magnum and fit it back to, he wanted it back to be plugged right there. 
So you got a splitter so you can push, charge the batteries on a 220. All right, so that he can have the uh, spaghetti wires around. But he has the opportunity to do all this kind of stuff because his basement is not completely done. But um, this is his choice. And back to the batteries here. This is what sitting just like coming down to the basement. They're sitting right here. So I'm connecting six batteries in parallel and six batteries in parallel and series them. Since these batteries are 2017, they were sitting in the server room or a standby. And this is what we're going to do. We got to make sure that they're all balanced or equalized. And uh, because of age, but they never been power cycle at all. They just sit in there. This is this uh, facility where this thing came from is a 24 seven electricity. And the power never goes out there. And when the power goes out there, like I said, it's just about a millisecond. The generators are kicking in right away, just like the hospital. So it runs. I can hear the fence running. Let me just be so kind of a little bit nosy. Okay, sorry, I have to bring it back here so you guys can see. So the fans are running. All right. The other fan there doesn't sound really good. I don't know. But this battery is going to get back here, back to the batteries, and uh, connect them in all in parallel. So I already set up the wires, the cables. You just have to put the plugs there and connect them. So I'm done with this other one here. I'm done with this bank. Okay, 12 of them already, six of them already wired in parallel. They're balancing itself right now. And I'm going to bring back these batteries here and tie them the same way and balance them all. And see how they go. I'm going to bring my smart charger and charge these batteries all the way to the top. To the battery specification here. This is what we're going to charge the batteries to. See that? The nominal voltage is 13.5 and 13.8 flow charge. So this is what we're going to charge them all the way to 13.8. So they are not like 13.4 like the other AGM batteries. So they only get into this level right here. And these batteries, I think they are made in the USA. Aurora illinois usa and um right here so you can look them up and see whatever you want to learn from them the gbn industrial power for you guys in illinois chicago and you guys can see 505 watt pan cell so multiply 505 watt times six cells in this at uh, 1.67 volt per cell. That's the VPC stands for. Then you will know how much this battery, what wattage. I think it's of about six, 3,000 something watts, watt hours. So guys, that's what I'm gonna do after that. After getting this battery, the 12, 12 volt battery like here, I made a big 12 volt battery, so two, four six i'm gonna make another big 12 volt battery here i'm gonna jump because i have a positive here and a negative here i can jump one wire right here that makes it a 24 volt come right away so it's gonna be 24 volt so 24 volt then i'm gonna show you the exciting thing here i don't know if you can remember go back to my playlist and see the agos or agos battery charger technology and this one's going to be incorporated there for the winter. Since the grid tight inverters don't have, I made a video of these uh, years and years ago. And I never used them at all. So, because since I was done with AGM and sealed acid, I never carry flooded acid batteries. This one can do the job. It can regulate the voltage, whatever you want to do. And they can set for 12 and 24 volts configurations. You get a jumper 
the um, inside here you can able to do it has an Anderson connector so you got a battery temperature sensor and for this kind of batteries battery temperature sensor is uh, advisable to have because if you would have like a, a Magnum or have a Outback uh, temperature sensor is nice because if any of the batteries is about to overheat or go bad the system will back off from charging the batteries. So I'm gonna give you this to see. You can see the light is gonna be indicating to the 25, 50, 75, 100%. You see, it's telling you that the current output is telling you and everything and it's gonna give you all the specifications. So look at this guys and you can look it up and share your comments and thoughts. What you think is uh, a mount rack is going to be 18, 19 inches mount rack, just like any musical equipment. You can mount these guys and it's just going to work really well. So it's easy to see how everything works here. So this is what I'm doing right here. And this guy is only about two panels going to be charging these guys here. So. It's gonna be interesting to see which are two panels charging these guys and it's facing west when the sun is setting and they can just still pump power for the rest of the season. The southern exposure is getting is dying now, it's slowing down, and this guy is still gonna be making power. And it's not gonna be depending on these guys anymore. But guys, is a silet acid a AGM or whatever. Um they are not, they're not going to be holding the voltage. Now it went back to float. See that? You're not going to be holding the voltage like uh, lithiums can do. It might probably drag when you get a load from there. It's going to drag the batteries, the voltage. And I just want you to be aware of that. So I'm going to come back with the latest on this uh, update, on upgrade. Live here at the Green Meister Dave with the JW Solar USA in Minnesota. Like and subscribe. Bye for now. Love you guys all. And take care.